I believe the common explanation is that there is a will within the live stream that is rooting for Fred, and that it is most likely Olive that helps that happen. Anyway, we are at Bone Village. We need to do one more diggy here. It's been a while since we've been here. So long, in fact, that he has forgotten that we picked up the Lunar Harp. So we are going to ignore his faulty programming and we're going to start digging. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to say good treasure. Because there is a set spot, once again, where I am looking to dig. That would be up here and roughly about halfway between the smoke and the burnt out campfire. So, right around there, good. Just go ahead and blow up whatever the hell you want. I already know where it is, hopefully you didn't destroy it. Go ahead and dig right there. And hopefully I have done this properly and I can get the key item that is now available to us. It was not available before. You have to wait until you get Fred back in the party. In here we can get the key to Sector 5. Very nice. I have done things properly. For those of you that are kind of wondering, hey, what the hell is Sector 5? That is Sector 5 of Midgar. So I'm going to head back to Midgar. We've got some unfinished business in the opening city. Back at the giant city headquarters of Shinra. You can see it's still quite dark around here. Let's head to really any side. And here, even though there's a giant seven, that's not it. That's funny. Did I drop the key to this gate somewhere? Was it when I was on that excavation tour? And that's your clue that there is a key to Sector 5. I went ahead and got the key already because who would have thought to come back to Midgar anyway? Let's see what we can do. We can just walk right in. They don't even say you used the key. Just, oh, you're, you're back. And here we arrive at Olive's church. Let's head into the church. Oh, it's been a long time since I've heard this music. I still like it. So good. And here... You can clearly see Olive tending her flowers. O Olive, are you? No, she's gone. They're pretty. Hey, where's the flower lady? She was right there. You guys didn't see her. This is, I wouldn't say something that is a bug or bad programming. I think this was done on purpose. I think it was Fred just wanting her so badly to be there, but she, she couldn't be. It definitely was programmed for that to happen, I think. Let's head further into Midgar. There's not too much we can do here, unfortunately. I would love to just go raid you know, Shinra headquarters or something like that, but that's not something we can do right now. The enemies here have not changed at all. So if you're looking for easy kills, this is the spot for you. What we are actually going to do today is we are going to... Yes, it is this way. <laughs> I had to think about it though. That's not a good sign. It's been a long time since I've been in Midgar. We are headed back to the wall market. There's a couple things that we can pick up there. Unfortunately, there's no quick way to getting to the wall market except going this long way. But I am pretty damn sure this is the way to Wall Market, so we will just head through here and through the playground. Right, yes, so this is the right way. Very good. Now if I can navigate through debris, that would probably help. We need to go back to Wall Market because there are a couple items that are available to us now. Very, very important items. Now I believe for this you have to have Sheska with you. You could do it without Crash, but I think having Crash along makes this a lot better. Let's head into this shop here. Remember I tried to get into it and try to do things, but I was getting way ahead of myself. There's a Gatling gun that shoots at me whenever I try to do anything. But now we can do this. Give me your item. <clears throat> Let me see that. It should work now. Go on, try and use it now. Francesca walks up. 
And it seems to have worked. It's not shooting at us. Crash, what did you do? Don't get mad. You'll just get more wrinkles. Hey, something's coming out. And for that, it looks like we get... Well, it matches the color of her gloves and shoes. We've received the premium heart. This is actually Sheska's ultimate weapon. Platinum fist, premium heart. As you can see, attack on it is huge. It goes from 30 to 99. It over triples the attack that we're doing now. It also ups our attack percentage. The problem with ultimate weapons in this game, and we'll figure that out as we get more. This is the first one that we've gotten. Outside of Olive, but Olive doesn't really count. But the ultimate weapons, they'll have eight slots linked, no growth. And as such, I won't be using them for a long time. Until we get to the end of the game, I probably will not be using them. Growth is very important to me because I'm trying to level up everything. But first ultimate weapon down. And yes, that is the reason that I brought Crash with us because he is hilarious. He's always good. We need to head up here though because we've just got one more thing to take care of. That is the gym. That is not what I want to go to. This is what I want to go into, the weapon shop. Because if I remember correctly, I think it's you actually. Oh, so you're back? I got something good for you. Why don't you buy it? Probably just found it lying around somewhere, right? I'll admit that I found it, but you may never be able to get another one like it again. He is absolutely right. How about 129,000 gil for it? What kind of price is that? It's not really a fair price, but I'm going to go ahead and go for it anyway. All right, I'll buy it. Hey, much obliged. You'll never regret it. And we get a sneak glove for damn near all of my money. The sneak glove is an accessory. So, once again, probably won't be... Actually, this one I will be using. I'll be using this one quite a bit. Where is it? Sneak glove. There it is, way down at the bottom. It increases your stealing rate. And considering how much frustration stealing has done for me, except for Ultimate Weapon, where I happen to get that curse ring... I might equip this every time I need to steal something. It's just that good. And I hate to say it, but we are actually done here in Midgar. So I'm going to run out of here, pretty much going back the exact same way that we came in. And I will meet you at our next destination. And our final destination on the small side quest spree is... Back to Nibbleheim. Now you might be thinking maybe there's something important plot-wise that happens here. Not really. Nothing has really changed. Of course, the people of Nibbleheim aren't happy to have Fred back. They barely remember him. It sounds like he wasn't in Nibbleheim very long as a kid. Let's head up to Sheska's room, though. And if I can manage it, thank you, I will be playing the piano. Now, how did this go? I did indeed forget. Because I am terrible. So, what I am going to be doing is the same theme that we did before. You'll have to excuse me if I do it kind of slow, because I am not very musically gifted. So, we're going to do X, square, triangle, R1 and triangle, R1 and square, X, square, Triangle, R1 and X, circle, X, square, X, and that's it. I've heard this melody somewhere before. Probably would have helped if I did it up to speed. I managed to play well. No, I didn't. That was terrible. But I have the sheet music for that song. Huh? Wait a minute. There's something inside the music sheet. Sheska. What's happened to our town? Was it all an illusion or just a dream? No, it was neither. I remember trying to get people out of the flames, but not having the strength. Burning with anger, I went to the reactor to kill Sephiroth, but he was nowhere to be found. Instead, I found you, collapsed inside. I felt saving you was far more important than going after Sephiroth. There were several others that were still alive inside, 
but I was only able to save you. As I was coming out of the reactor, Shinra troops were just arriving. I recall a scientist named Hojo was in charge. He ordered the troops to gather up everyone still alive for the experiment. I didn't know what type of experiment he was talking about, but I wasn't about to let them have my dearest student. Putting you on my back, I headed down the mountain to the village. I used the cure spell on you many times. and started to head for Midgar to look for a doctor for you. I don't like that city, but my cure spells weren't helping. I decided to go to Midgar to find a doctor I could trust. I'm worried about you, but I can't settle down in one place for very long. Have you recovered fully? Are you well? I wondered how many years have passed since then. I just got into town again, but I can't believe it. The whole town is back to normal, except for the strange beings with black clothes all around. The town reeks of Shinra, but I won't go after them. You may think I'm running from them, but it's just that I don't want anything to do with Shinra anymore. It feels like time is running out. I'm sure you'll find this letter and this gift for you. It should come in handy. I can't even jump anymore. But I hope you continue to sharpen your skills and remember what I taught you. To my most precious student from Zangin. And we have received Final Heaven. And she was practicing it over there, I guess. This is Sheska's level four limit break. It should be at the bottom here. It is, very nice. Learn limit skill, final heaven for Sheska. We will learn that for her. We are getting to the point where everybody is starting to get their level four limit break items. And I have not done enough in order to allow them to learn it. So we'll probably have to level everybody up at once and try to get them all the skills at the same time. There is one more thing, well, one more thing. There is one more giant side quest that I could get started right now. I am not going to be doing that. The gold saucer has reopened, which means that I could start chocobo breeding. I am not going to be doing that though. That is not something that I am willing to do at this point. You, If you do it, though, you can get quite powerful things. We'll just go with things. I won't spoil it too much, but if you do that now, you can get incredibly powerful things pretty early in the game, but it's going to require so much work from you at this point that you might not think it's worth it. So instead, I am going to be putting that off for most likely just bonus videos, I might have to get some mm, low-level bread chocobos, if that makes sense, for other things like uh, doing the enemy skills and things like that. But the, the end game of chocobo breeding, I am putting that off for bonus videos. With that said, that is going to do it for these parts of... Let's play Final Fantasy VII. I'm joined, as always, by my reunited squad of Fred, Sheska, and Crash. I've been Bob Scoob. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>